Hi, I'm Bob Johnson from Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. If you're looking for a tough book, rugged laptop community for tips, tricks, and more information, don't forget to watch our videos. And when you do, hit that like button as well as the subscribe button and that bell button so we can notify you on any newer upcoming videos. Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of The Rugged Rundown. So today I'm gonna to be doing a comparison of the CF20 versus the FZQ2 tablet, maybe even called a hybrid laptop. So you guys can see they look like laptops, but are they really laptops? Well, yeah, in a sense they are, but as you know, and I've talked about this before on the CF20, it's a, it's a hybrid um, laptop, which this pops right off, and now we have a tablet. So the Q2, does basically the same thing where the screen pops off as a tablet and what I wanted to do is kind of give you what is the difference between the two you know are we comparing apples to apples so to speak well let's look at it so first of all the Q2 the FZ Q2 has a much larger screen as you can see the uh, CF20 obviously has a smaller screen now we'll tell you that the Q2 is a semi-rugged tablet versus the CF20 which is fully rugged that's what Panasonic claims they are in essence th basically that's true in that the design has got the magnesium alloy covering on the CF20 uh, the Q2 is more plastic but I got to tell you when you feel like the consistency of the you know the build just by holding it the Q2 is really well built the uh, CF20, same basic thing. You can feel that it's well built. Would I want to drop this? I hesitate. I, I got to be honest with you, I hesitate on whether I would drop this one as well as this one. This one, you know, the Q2 is a little heavier, obviously, because it's going to be a bigger screen. Would I want to drop this? Probably not. It would definitely crack, I believe. Uh, but let's move on to the keyboards on these units. And I'm not going to put the screens back on because I want to show you the differences in the, the keyboards. Now the mouse pad on these two units are basically the same exact size, in fact the same design. This one's black whereas this one's a silver mouse pad. The buttons actually are identical. It looks like they use the same buttons design on both these units. In fact the lights for the cap locks, number lock, and the uh, I guess that's the power light. These three lights are all the same right here on these two units. Same size touchpad, keyboard wise. Same basic design. Now, the Q2 has a larger keyboard. You can see it's a more full laptop keyboard versus the CF20, which is smaller, which makes sense because the CF20 is a smaller design unit. Weight wise, the CF20 is lighter. The Q2 is going to be a, a bit heavier. Keyboard, this is a backlit keyboard, so you're able to see it in the dark, whereas the Q2 is not backlit. The, I guess the, the main difference in these two units is a couple. Number one, this is a semi-rugged, whereas the CF20 is a fully rugged. So if you're in those rough environments, you definitely want to go with the CF-20. If you're just basically needing a laptop to walk around and you want something robust that's not going to fall apart on you, the Q2 is a nice choice. I would say it's great to carry around if you're an inspector walking around doing, you know, inspecting things, taking pictures. You have the cameras to take the pictures. You get the bigger screen so you can see a fuller view. Whereas the CF20, if you're in a cold environment, hot environment, dusty, grimy, uh, let's say you're an auto mechanic, the CF20 is a nice choice. But basically, that's the, the difference between these two just as a preview of looking at them. Processor-wise, they're both basically the same as far as speed's concerned. The uh, memory, they both have the ability to go to 16 gigs. So, well, what you got to understand about memory on the CF20 and the Q2, what you buy it brand new with is what the unit comes with. There's no upgrade slots. 
So if you buy it with 16 gig, that's what you got. There's no putting 32 gig or dropping it down to eight gig. Same thing with the Q2. Once you, once you buy it with the memory, that's what is included. There is no upgrade slot. So in that respect, they're both the same. One other difference in these two units that I almost forgot is the ports. The CF-20 includes more ports like USB ports, SD card reader ports and that sort of thing. Whereas the Q2 has limited ports. In fact, the ports it has is simply a USB port and a headphone port. So if you're expecting a lot of ports, the Q2 is not your choice. Like I said, this is for an inspector going out on site or uh, somebody sitting at their desk working that maybe every once in a while needs to uh, change this out into a tablet mode. So if you're looking for ports, the CF20 is your choice. Well, that's all I got for you on these two units. I hope you enjoyed it this week. Leave your comments and questions down, down below. Check out the description. I'll leave some extra links to the other videos on these two units. Other than that, I'll see you next week.